What is up everybody? Welcome. So I'm going to go back to pulling these and I'm going to tell you why. So first of all, I went to Target so I could get the red bordered cards because the last time I went to Walmart and I got the blue sparkle cards. So I wanted to see what the red ones look like. Secondly, since opening the last boxes, I have learned a lot about these cards. There is more than meets the eye with these cards for sure. So we're going to open them and I'm hopefully going to be able to explain to you what I mean because uh, these cards are actually pretty cool and they're sneaky cool and I will explain in a second here. So let's get to ripping. For those of you that are new, welcome. For those of you that have been sticking around with me this whole time, I appreciate you guys a ton. So let's open some baseball. So if you guys haven't checked it out, um, I'll put a link up to the top. I'll try to put them all in order. Um, I did a four-part series where I opened the value packs, the hanger boxes, the blaster boxes, and then finally the mega boxes of this product. So you guys can watch those four videos if you want to see, you know, the differences between all of them, what my recommendations are, what you can pull out of them, that sort of thing. Um, but if you haven't pulled this product before, I would definitely check those out first because, you know, you go there and you wonder what should I buy. So first, let's take a look here. So... Uh, we're going to look for 1975 Topps Platinum Foil Boards and 1975 Zoos Who Stick on Red, which I've never seen the Zoo Who's. Again, in here there's supposed to be three of the red bordered base cards in the um, Walmart. They're blue sparkles and they're chrome. The Topps chrome. So we're going to find number parallels to, 19, to $9.99. There's 17 packs and 9 cards per pack. 153 cards total, so we've got over 300 cards here, you guys. And then we look at the back. So we're going to look for autographs and relics. Um, anything that's numbered 1 to 100 is considered a short print. So we got to watch for those. In the last one, they did have those cards backwards to make it easier for them to find. We're going to look for the chrome base cards numbered 999. We're going to look for rare base card variations. So the color swaps, I'll get with that in a second. Um, nicknames is another thing. And then we're going to look for, um, diff like I said, different color borders, all, all sorts of stuff. So that's different. They didn't put that in the Walmart one. Interesting. At least not that I can remember. Oh, wow, there's like, that's weird that they did it that way. Okay, well that's the, that's box number one. Let's get these NBA cards out of the way. We're opening baseball today. I cannot get this back in here. There we go. Okay. Off you go. All right, let's rip some cards. So, let's talk autographs first. Almost all the cards have a printed autograph on them, okay? You can get on-card autos in this product. I have not gotten one yet, but I have been researching it. The way you can tell, because you can we'll go right past it. Number one, I think they're in blue ink. Could be wrong. This area here will say congratulations and talk about your authentic autograph, okay? So I went back through all the other cards and I looked at this section here to see if I pulled an autograph, okay? Also, this is the number you're going to look for 100 to less, 1 to 100, that tells you it's a short print. If you find a card that does not have an autograph on it at all, they are selling for huge money on eBay. Um, I have not seen one personally, you know, in anything that I've pulled, but we've got to watch for these cards to not have the autograph on them. Then the color swaps, what they're talking about is these two colors being flipped. I have no idea to know which way is which. So if anybody knows um, which way the colors are supposed to be, enlighten me. Because um, I will gladly take that um, information. Because, I mean, I don't even know where to start. Uh, rookies have the shield. So obviously we're looking for Ellie. And we're just trying to see if we can find anything unique. Because like I said, these cards are sneaky. 
with the, the color swaps, the different borders, autographs missing, autographs being hard to tell that they're actually on there. So you kind of got to be careful when you're ripping through them, which is what I was not last time. We have a goose. Okay. Goose. So let's keep ripping and hopefully we pull something cool here. And I haven't seen anything backwards yet, Mookie. See, like these cards just look like there's freaking autographs on them. Let me see something here real quick, guys. Because I pulled a couple packs here. Did we pull a short print? Because in the Walmart version, they had them backwards. We have not pulled a short print yet. Oh, no, we did right here. Here's a short print. It was not backwards, so we got to be careful. Which is make, like I said, these cards are sneaky. Um, I like them because they are total throwbacks, and throwbacks cool because cards back then were way different than they are now, as you guys all probably know. It's funny how you used to be able to go to the store and get a pack of cards, and um, you might get to pull like a really cool card, and nowadays it's quite the opposite. that you got to buy these $18,000 cases to get these cool cards, and they're going so far above and beyond to make these cards worth so much. It's, it's crazy. It's almost disappointing, but we um, push forward because I don't plan on stopping. Okay. Um, to open baseball and football and basketball cards anytime soon. So, so far, I haven't seen anything crazy. Like I said, if somebody knows how you know if it's a color swap, I would be all ears with that because... Oh, now, wait, hold on. What was this? Gosh, these are sneaky. White border. Oh, no, it's not. Doesn't that say white border? White border. Border. No, it's not. We're going to put this up here. That's another thing, guys, is that you look above the number and it might tell you something else. Like I said, sneaky cards. Like, it's actually kind of funny that these guys had this much fun with these. And there's a whole lot of baseball and there's a huge number. Here's a... Here's a Short print I just I missed. Now, are these short prints all the same color? That's interesting. We're going to find all sorts of stuff out as we go. Here's rookies. Are there anything special in these rookies? No. So far, we're good. Like I said, sneaky, sneaky. Tops, you are sneaky. You almost want to, like, open them and look at them from the back. So there's no rookies in that one. No short prints. No special lettering anywhere. Now how does that card say white border and have a red border? Is that another error? I don't know. Maybe I just found a new error that nobody knew about. Right? New age performers. Okay. Like, so much to look for. Low numbers. Is there an autograph? Is there not an autograph? What order are the colors in? What number are the cards in the back? What color are they? Is there geese? Is there marlins? Orioles? Is there all sorts of stuff in your cards? But like I said, when I just started kind of digging into it a little bit more, it really intrigued me. Oh, here's a chrome. Cool, man. Uh, this should be numbered to 575. Look at that. Bobby Witt Jr., and just like that, this kind of card will pop right out in front of you. And what does it say? I have my contacts in, and I can't see anything close to my contacts. 
it says refractor refractor there you go Bobby Witt Jr. refractor this is numbered out of 575 and just like that it just bounces out at you and now we gotta check the backs see if we miss something here, here again here's another short print because it says so right on the box numbered 1 to 100 is a short print and it's not brown this time, so forget that theory. So to me, like these cards almost are like, it's like a scavenger hunt. Does that make sense? It's like a scavenger hunt because you could be pulling all sorts of cool stuff. Like I said, when I was, I was listing my cards I have on eBay and um, I'm like, what are these color variations and different borders and no autographs and actual autographs and so i started digging into it and i'm like these are actually kind of cool i mean i'm not even really looking at the names that much which is a shame this is probably it. nope see that's not but hold on what does this say does this say white border can't read it. I need a magnifying glass. I think so. White border. That is not white. We're going to stack those over there together. I mean, is this just like the massive error set in here? What do we got here? I'm sure somebody else has already figured all that out. I'm not a trendsetter by any means. Um, another one of these purple cards. I don't know if I even got these out of here. Yeah, they're back here. I'm not even sure what those purple cards are. So let's see, any short prints? Here's a short print. Okay. Obviously you're walk looking for Ellie Otani. But I mean, I want like, oh yeah, where are these red border cards? Are, oh wait, hold on. Hold on. These must be the red borders. Does this say red border? Dude, this is white border, man. I'm telling you. Because there's supposed to be red border cards in these packs. Man, I don't know. Like I said, these guys just, I think they're just messing with everybody. Here's, now here's a white border. Let's see what this one says. And this is a rookie card that's not... All right. So hold on here. White border, Lane Ramsey. White border. Okay. So do the white borders in the target boxes have red borders? Is that what it's supposed to be? Like I said, a scavenger hunt city here. Oh, that's an auto. That's got to be an auto, guys. Hold on here. Just hang on a second. Yep, there you go, you guys. You get to see what it looks like. We pulled a freaking autograph. That's awesome. So this is what it looks like for a real autograph. And it's on card. No stickers, you guys. Zero stickers. This dude had this cat card in his hand and signed it. I don't know if Justin Martinez is good. I hope he is. But we're going to sleeve him up right now. It's not too often I ever hold in my hand an on-card autograph. It's just kind of dumb that these athletes go and sign all these stickers. Like, give him the card. You know what I mean? This is cool. We hit an auto, guys, in the first box. I love it. There it is. Autographed Justin Martinez of the Diamondbacks. And that's what it looks like. So, again, it's sneaky. It's freaking sneaky. These guys are sneaky. All right. Continuing on. Autograph out of the Heritage. That's so awesome. All right. And again, I'm looking for cards that don't have autographs. We have a hawk. I'm looking for cards that don't have autographs, and I'm looking for rookies, and I'm looking for borders, and 
on oh this must be one of the nickname cards okay kind of cool all right oh short print right here Pablo Lopez is a short print we're gonna run out of card stands okay two packs left of box one you pull the freaking autograph it's awesome Rookie card. And that's it's gotta be it. That's what's it's gotta be it. White border. This has to be those have to be the target borders. They have to be. Let me see if I missed something here. I'm going back a little further, but that's okay. So that's how they get you on that, is that white borders become red borders in the sets from Target. We got one box, or one card, one pack left from the box number one. All right, rookie. Baseball flashbacks. Okay. Let's see. Any short prints here? Nope. Okay, so that was box number one. All right, so there you go. Much better explanation this time around. Hopefully you guys enjoyed that. We got one more box left. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to hope for some more cool stuff out of it. Um, if you guys haven't already, like, subscribe, comment, do the whole works. Facebook page, I've got that on my link on the um, description of the, of the video. Always want more Facebook activity because I'm trying to build a little community there. Um, and then remember, eBay, the link to my eBay page is in the description. So if you see a card, like let's say you are a huge fan of Justin Martinez, and I just pulled that autograph and you're like thinking, man, I love that in my collection, then reach out to me. And let me know and I'll hook you up okay if you subscribe to my channel and comment and like and help me grow this I'm gonna give it back to you all right so let's move on to our next box of heritage that I didn't think I would buy again and I'm glad I did because this is fun Otani there Heroes. oh you know what I did I'm already forgetting we got to look back Oh, see, right here, I missed one. Here's a short print. Nick Pavetta. I'm going to have to make a pile of those pretty soon because I'm not going to have enough room. Actually, let's do that real quick right now. So short prints are here, here. This one that I knocked over, of course. This one, this one, and this one. Okay. Next pack. And we still have the rookies to look through, but I'll do that later. All right. There's Aaron Judge. Now, see, like, the Air, there's an Aaron Judge color swap on, e, on eBay that's selling for a lot, and there's also an Aaron Judge with no autograph on it. They're selling a ton of money for So, like I said, I'm not sure which direction the green or, or yellow is supposed to be with Aaron Judge, but if it's a certain way, people want big bucks for it. So, there you go. Oh, is something shiny in here? Yes, it is. There's something shiny. We like shiny here on this channel. Shiny is our favorite color. All right. Rookie. Sparky Anderson. Soriano. I'm going slow here because I don't know where, when I'm going to get to this one. Cade Marlowe. Where is it? Oh, it's here. Okay, so let's put these down. What's in the back here? All right. Spencer Strider. What on earth is this? I don't know. But that card looks sweet. That card looks... I've never seen anything like that out of this before. 
That card's got a really cool look to it. Oh, my battery's at 15%. We better get moving here. Got a lot of cards to open still. Yeah, like what the heck is that card? That card's driving me nuts right now. Because that card looks sweet. Okay, this one is another one of these reds. White border. I probably shouldn't do it that way. We're going to set those down so we don't damage them. Here's another. Oh, a Mike Trout short print. That's sweet. Okay. I like that. It's fun that they put this stuff on the back of the cards. Because so many times you pull a card, like this Spencer Strider card. I don't even know what that is. Um, it'd be cool if they just told you in the back what you got. You know? Like, what are you calling this card? Plus, it's a better chance you don't let it get thrown to waste, you know? I mean, I have, I mean, I have boxes of boxes of boxes of cards that I've, I have stashed. I don't never throw a single card away. Ever do. I never will. Um... I'll find something to do with it, but um, it'd be nice if they told you because I'm sure I'm sure if I went through it I'd find something there I missed. I hate to say it, but there's no tiny. Okay, still got a pretty good pile of cards here, you guys. That Spencer Strider card is sweet. Like, what the heck is that thing? Now see, this one does have an autograph. I'm, tr I'm trying to watch for those. It's so much to try to do it at the same time. Because I don't want to make this video two hours long. Here's a short print. J.J. Blade. Bledley. Okay. So hopefully you guys see this. And you guys go and buy some of these too. I'd love if you did. And then you went to the Facebook page. And um, show me what you pulled. Because this is definitely something that you'd want to take your time pulling, which I'm definitely not doing right now. Here's another white border. We like that. It's a short print white border. That's... Wow. That's cool. There's a flashback. This got to be a red. Yep. I have yet to list any of my short prints on eBay yet. I still have them all. I haven't got to it. I just put like the blue sparkles and the chromes that I got on there today. I'm sure my I'm sure I'm gonna have to do some shipping after this is done. Which is not a problem because we like to ship cards to people. My wife thinks I'm crazy, but it's so much fun getting that card in the mail that you saw online and actually getting to hold it in your hand and look at it and go, this is mine now. You guys know what I mean. Especially when you work hard all week and you want to get that one card, you know? Right now I'm buying all the boxes of cards. I'm not really buying anything for myself anymore right now, so. But I've pulled some really cool stuff. It's just been hard. I'm doing it again, guys. I'm putting cards back up here when I shouldn't be. It's really hard to pull these cards and then have to give them away. Have to get rid of them. You know, it is really hard for me to do that. Here's another short print. Jake Rogers. Because I am a collector at heart. And I can't collect right now. But if it says Jordan Love on it, you're damn right I'm going to collect that. Or A.A. Ron Rogers. Or Brett Fabry. I bet you we got some short print rookies in here. Julio Rodriguez, we like that. Let's pop that right back there. Another rookie. Okay, let's see. Any short prints here? There's one, another one. George Kirby. Like I said, guys, I could have some of these color swaps here, and I don't even know it. I have no idea. That's what's crazy about this. It's 
fun though. So yeah, if you guys know the secret to the color swap, post it in the comments or message me. Maybe you, maybe it's some kind of conspiracy theory and no one should know. Here's another short short print and it's a white border, which means it's a red border. So I wonder what those cards are worth. For the right player, probably a lot. All right, we are down to five packs left to go. This is a big rip, you guys. And I haven't been watching too well with the... Oh, here's another um, Chrome. Let's put this to the side for a second. Here's Margaret Thatcher, in case you're wondering when she was going to pop up in our baseball cards. All right, let's go back here. Okay. Here's a Chrome of Yimer Candelario. This is numbered to 9.99. That's cool. We like that. Glad we pulled another numbered card. And that Spencer Strider card is driving me nuts. I want to know what that is. The centering on it is really good. I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, but rarely are these cards ever perfect, but. All right. Short prints, are you here? It's a lot easier for me to do this in front of you guys than it is to do it later. Plus, you guys get to see how it works. All right. There's a rookie. Plus, we got the rookies I'm going to go through. Here's a rookie. Oh, what's this? Did I miss that? <laughs> Rhino for Ryan Sandberg. That's funny. Didn't know his nickname was Rhino. Here's a short print. John Gray. Okay. Two more packs left. Phone's still rocking. We're still battery life. We're still we still have a heartbeat. Oh Lindor. Alright. What's this? Is this a white border? There it is. Another red card. Yeah, the blue sparkle cards are way cooler, guys. Way cooler. I recommend those better than the Target ones. And I think that the Walmart ones must have the mascots, like the actual animals, and these must be the nicknames. Because I didn't see the nicknames last time. Alright, last pack. Alright, any more short prints? Nope, that's it. So real quick, if you guys want to stick around for a second, I'm going to run through the rookies and see if there's any short prints in there. And then I am going to do a montage this time. Um, not of short prints, okay? But I'm going to do a montage so you guys can watch it because the other videos I didn't do it. But let's run through and see if there's any rookies with short prints on them. Because it only takes a second, so why not watch a little bit longer, right? Plus it helps my YouTube channel. Did you guys know that, that YouTube, with their algorithm, how long you watch a video really helps the, the uh, creator? I mean, maybe you could turn YouTube TV on in your house and just let it play all day? Just saying. Go to my channel and hit play all. Hmm? Okay, no rookies on a short print. So there you guys have it. Um, thanks again for watching. This was a fun rip. Hopefully you guys understand this product a little bit better. We still have some questions. Um, but I appreciate you all very much. Stick around for the montage. We'll see you in the next one. Peace.